Damn it, Harvey. Boom. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. You gotta do your damn job, just because you're running mayor from mayor. Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files... Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That guy's face is built to be make too sense. Fit, so I mean, what sure. could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. Who is no, this? no, just... Is this Selena? made it. It's Selena. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. <laughs> I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. That's so bad yourself. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. Hmm. Meet anyone interesting? Not really. They haven't all been as welcoming as Harv. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press Don't conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. It's like, do you, Harv? Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Who's gonna speak first? Probably Selena. <laughs> nice to meet the real you. Likewise. Likewise. <laughs> this explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. 
sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. What the? I was, thought I was like being you a little elusive, you know? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. As I recall, you took something from me too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use <laughs> you. Excuse me? These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. Uh, <laughs> not possible. No. We can figure Listen, out who those people are. I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. Okay, Bruce. <laughs> See? Seeing as I'm screwed either way. You say pretty please. My contact. Things happen. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You yeah. tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you going to stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs> don't screw it up. Damn. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Too quiet. Stay on guard. Yeah, let's walk in the front door. W. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Guts, oh, guts on the Lord. ground. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. There's guts on the ground. Nothing left to bury. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Link. This is cool. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. This is kind of cool. 
I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Tell this story. I like this part. Open. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. What's the link? I don't know where it links to. Oh, there we go. The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Alright, so we got that. We got the cop. Sam and the white. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. Oh, yes. It's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. That man's got drones? Damn. Makes sense. No. That bad? Oh! Clawed off face. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skyline Club. Is it linked to there? What is it linked to? Is it linked to the it doesn't link to there. Link to the canister? No. Alright. Must be something else then. That guy's burnt. This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Inside? Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. So he... So this guy is linked to that link to him so he got like so he tore him to pieces the cop shredded this merc to pieces barehanded god what would cause someone to do that the nerve agent could make them psychotic so is this scarecrow maybe and then link that bullet to the blast or maybe to the uh bullet hole? No. Okay. Something else. What's this? Examine the pallets. The pallets. There we go. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Okay. 
unscorched area. Something was here when the explosion occurred. So maybe that. Link to that. Yeah, there we go. Scrap a metal there, there. Bloody hands. The forklift could have been there. It's gotta be something else I'm missing. What am I missing here? Or are the links not in the right way, maybe? So maybe break that link there. Link that to that. Proof. So and link items that don't seem to have a strong connection. So link that to the bullet. Alright. So unlink that. And then link that bullet to that. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. So that and that. So then the blast. And that to that, maybe? Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone be leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Why were all the cops there? One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands and was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. We're grappling. Grapple. Oh, the drone. Both targets could have been shot from here. But no phosphorus trace.
There we go. Phosphorus Lucky spike. Two. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Where does he store all that stuff? This is the right spot. So where did he go? I know, maybe out the out the window. Maybe not. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. Dude's alive. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Belconi, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe not the pipe. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. <laughs> Tell me! The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive at the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container! Uh. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Malconi wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> Apply pressure. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals. Some kind of explosive, a weapon. I don't know. Balcony said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear. I swear. I told you. Oh God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. We're gonna need to call the coroner instead. He disappeared. You don't need to be here. He, he tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The Batman. <laughs> like a boss. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Your non-violent approach. Because that's what Batman is. Batman just beats bat, people up, and you know. Not an animal. You beat that man half to death. I didn't kill him. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive! He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this... Batman doesn't kill. ...attack on your family. Batman doesn't you kill. The world, the true Even though the new Batman and thing does... Giving everything to the Batman city doesn't and kill. being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. Alfred, come on, man. A little bit of a worry war. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's 
quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores, or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Oh, it's done. Well, back into the fray again. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. <sighs> this is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Oh, Gordon. Or who you think could do the most good. Gordon by far. Gordon's my boy. Gordon. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than I like Vicky Van and all, but... A wise decision, sir. Gordon's my boy. Falcone on two fronts No tonight. way am I giving it to Vicky. Gordon through the police. And Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. I am Batman. So we just walk up as Bruce Wayne and say, here's evidence to take this, down Falcone? This is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. Does he know he's Batman? I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still. What's wrong with his neck? I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. Bruce's neck was, like, I twisted and... chance of coming my way as it is. But, uh, thank you. Only Telltale Games. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this <laughs> isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. <laughs> you and me both. The glitch. The glitch is on these faces sometimes. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. <laughs> Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. 
What's wrong with Thanks, his neck? <laughs> well, Lieutenant. Hey, stick to Jim. If his neck, if he, t if his head turns all the way around, I swear to God. <laughs> it's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. It's the Batmobile? No way. Now that's a multi-purpose car. That is a multi-purpose car. Oh, damn. That's cool.